Hello and welcome to another week of energy and star sign readings with myself, Thomas Janak. And we're looking at the week of November the 4th to the 10th, 2019. Uh, but before we go into the star signs, and we're starting with the star sign of Scorpio, we will have a look at the overall energy for the week ahead. I already shuffled <coughs> for the week ahead, and what we got is the Coyote and the Jaguar. Here is what that means. The Coyote is basically saying to all of us, we are scavengers, which means, in analogy, there's always enough for us to go around. So this week, let's not panic about money. Let's not think, oh, bloody hell, I can't do this, I can't do this, or, you know, um, chase dodgy business deals, all that kind of stuff. Please don't. Because emotionally, the overall energy of this week could be best described as vulnerable. Because we have the Jaguar, which is a really powerful feline with unique dots. But the depiction that I have here is basically of a Jaguar that is inside a panther. Panther. Can't pronounce the H. Panther. <laughs> right? So we're vulnerable and yet we're hiding it. And what that means is we're very likely way too busy, most of us, we'll be way too busy to pay attention to how we truly uh, are, are doing. And um, it is really important because we will be looked after this week. It's going to be fine for all of us to say like, you know what, maybe my uniqueness, me, my personal me should, should come through, if that makes sense, right? So be, be, um, what's the word? Truthful to yourself, um, have integrity when it comes to, to yourself, acknowledge if you feel shit. <laughs> you know, just, just acknowledge how you feel and you know what? You can expect people to pay attention to how you feel and those who do not, fuck them. I know I'm swearing a lot, but it's the truth. It is oftentimes other people work relationships, relationships per se, that don't allow us to be who we truly are. This is the week where we're saying we're no longer hiding, right? We're no longer hiding just to get through this, if that makes sense. So overall energy feels vulnerable with the, with the, the promise, even though guides don't really promise, but the promise of the universe to say to you, like, you got a coyote. Coyote is a scavenger. He knows he will always find food. So trust. Trust there will always be enough for us and for you to be okay. Okay, dokie. So that's the overall energy for the week of November the 4th to the 10th, 2019. And now we're going into the first star sign, which is Scorpio. There we go. <laughs> I say that every time I do a video, how incredible I find it that you have the overall energy and it is obviously reflected in the star signs and here we are with Scorpio and your message is for this week to remember just that, you will be fine, you got the moose, which is an elk with a split hoof, when the terrain gets difficult, the, um, the elk or the moose does not sink in. Right? So you will be fine, stand your ground, be yourself, you will be fine because your next animal guide that, that you have is the panther. And we talked about the panther being the animal in which the jaguar, our overall energy for the week, is hiding. Right? So the vulnerability that, that you have is allowed to be shown, but your, your attitude towards the week for Scorpios is to say, I'm going to be calm because I know I've been carried by my guides. Right? Sounds simple enough and maybe it is. All they're saying is what gets you is when you panic. So don't. Right? That was Scorpio going into Sagittarius. Huh. 
move that out. Sagittarius. Okay. Right. From what I can see is happening here that is reflected in the overall energy and the star signs is that this is a week for, for uh, us and for the people that inhabit this universe is to actually look at our healing because Sagittarius have the caribou and the beer the bear, not the beer <laughs> can't pronounce it yeah. so we're not talking about beer, we're talking about the bear right? so bear with me, let me do this again <laughs> for Sagittarius we have the caribou and the bear caribou, also otherwise known as the reindeer is another stag, elk, whatever you want to call it, there's different times and, and obviously they're not just different names, they're obviously different types of the same, on the same family. Anyway, forget about that. The, the, the caribou has antlers and antlers basically mean you are protected, right? So here's another thing where the universe is stressing to Sagittarius is do not panic and watch your patterns, maybe your patterns do not work because Sagittarius have the bear and the bear really stands for healing, for deep healing, especially the feminine, feminine side. It doesn't mean it's just for, 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 for women, but the feminine side that is in all of us where um, rejection sits, where you feel I have been wronged. All these emotions are allowed to come out this week so do, you, can, you can heal from, from these trauma. And therefore, it's no point uh, being in a, in a in a state of panic because of you know financial situations and work. So remember this: right? the universe is. This is twenty nineteen. You probably noticed this. Um, personally, this is the worst year I ever had ever. <laughs> right. So that doesn't mean there weren't great times, but most of the things just don't work, and the universe is hitting me with shit over and over again. So I can release it all, and um, there are days where I kind of go like. Oh, leave me alone, <laughs> right? And so, so energetically speaking, it is the year where the guides are saying we need all of us to have a higher vibration, to be the best we can be. So we need to not hide our our pain anymore. And this is what the bear is basically saying here to Sagittarius: is let it out, allow yourself to heal, or at least begin to heal, right? And calmness is the the trigger for this right okay dokey that was sagittarius going into capricorn but before i do this i need something to drink all right <clears throat> no space here you know okay where was i <laughs> capricorn let's see what we got for capricorns So, <laughs> again, we have a we have a sheep this time. So you notice there's a, a lot of hoofed animals, hoofed animal guides around this week, and the sheep, this sheep, doll sheep denotes the fact that they hang on a cliff on two legs and don't fall. It's actually what is referred to as a money card. And it doesn't mean that you win the lottery, even though that's always possible. <laughs> what, that's, what, what that basically means is that, again, finances will be fine. Again, that's the overall theme, but it's reflected in the, in the star signs here. And for Capricorn, this is important for you to realize this week. Don't panic. Really, don't panic. Yes, pay attention by all means to, to um, you know, your monthly bills and how much you have left and, you know, and all these costs that come out of nowhere are annoying. But what the guides are saying is, no, pay attention to how you feel because we got you. Really, really important because the other element that we have here is the osprey. This guy. Well, it's a bird of prey. And he, uh, in this depiction, he rests on a branch. So what that really means is you can see a mile away when something is coming toward you that could be upsetting, that could cause um, 
very some issues. So just pay attention and, and also remember to trust. Because you have the doll's sheep, you will be fine. Okay? So let's just recap this because that was for Capricorn. But let's just recap what's going on in this week, November the 4th uh, to, uh, to, to the 10th. The overall energy is for us to be calm and remember that everything that has to do with, with our, you know, our lives, especially financially, uh, or, or the things that trigger us going like, bloody hell, am I supposed to pay for this? It's probably actually good that the guides come up with this because I see this every year that people sort of, you know, go into, into debt uh, for, for bloody Christmas, you know, kind of thing. I personally don't get it, you know, um, how people can, you know, take loans out just to give the kids something nice, you know, because love is the currency we need, love, right? All the other stuff is temporary, right? So that probably you would probably do with buying smaller gifts and giving more love. In a world where people are really spoiled, that's not going to be as, as uh, simple. But here, where are my two cents about this, right? So remember, so far, the energy for us is to not panic, and allow any trauma, any pain to come to the front, come to the fore, so it can be triggered and then we can begin to heal. So that's really important. That was also uh, apparent in all the star signs, right? So let's go into Aquarius. Let's see what we got for Aquarius. Aquarius, your healing is long overdue, right? When your healing starts or get, gets deepened, you will go into a, um, you will go through a transformation. So your healing will be deep, very likely it will also be painful, but it has to happen so you can be lighter and fresher and better and less burdened by your past experiences, right? Um, so you have you go through transformation when you allow your healing to come to the fore. But the good thing is your animal guide here uh, is the crow, which is the animal of transformation, but also the animal of magic, right? So things will happen for you. So don't worry about it. You will be looked after. And then you have the spider, and the spider is the animal that creates the web of life. So inside your web of life, you'll be fine. Just make sure you're not giving too much energy to people and situations that drain you, right? That's really all that is. That was Aquarius going into Pisces. Here we go. Right, right. Okay. Wow. Unbelievable, but in a positive way. Another deer, right? Another stag, another hoof animal. So they're around us big time. Ah. And another one, <laughs> right? Love it. I'm Pisces, by the way, so I always look forward to this part. Okay, so all our Pisces, we have the deer and the elk. It's fairly simple. It really means, stop. Full stop. What, what they're saying to us is, for us Pisces, we have always been, and are, still very emotional that's just who we are that's the core of us is these sometimes overly emotional beings and when you have the the deer and the elk what they're saying is here we have two hoofed animals with antlers and two hoofed animals you would not want to mess with in other words we stand our ground and also we stay in the background you have, the, you have the deer, only functions best sunrise and sunset. Everything that, you, that happens during the day, when people chase you with things that need to be done, cause us Pisces stress. So if possible, this week, um, make sure that you can put your own timing on spin on things. For instance, if you work somewhere where you know exactly what you need to do, you don't need some bloody team leader chasing you, telling, t saying it to you five times a day, right? Things like this. So um, have your own pace. It's really important. But the most important message for all us Pisces this week, really, is to not argue. 
because we have animals here who are by default quite skittish and animals who are not confrontational, if that makes sense. Um, and that's the message for us then, you know, be for us Pisces, let's, let's be in our kindness and um, don't, well, don't, don't argue. And also don't let anyone provoke us, if that makes sense. So the calmer us Pisces are, the better. It is interesting because um, of all the spirit animal guides that, that, that I came across, the only one that always says, um, you know, wear some, some nature colors, brown and green, is the deer. And I'm Pisces, I have the deer, and I have no way of knowing, and look what I'm wearing, the green. There is no coincidence. It's awesome, that's why I love my guides, because somehow, I listen, I'm beginning to heal, if that makes sense, right? Okay, that was Pisces, here we go. And now, from Pisces, we're going into Aries. There's tons of words like Aries, I can't really pronounce, but I'm doing my best. <laughs> here we go. Okay, I feel like a broken record here, saying the same thing over and over, but I only work here. <laughs> this is the week for all of us to heal, to finally allow healing to happen. And for Aries, you have the brown bear and the raccoon. And the brown bear is the animal that says deep healing is needed and is pushed on you, right? You have the raccoon, there is a fable in Japan where the raccoon is known as the shapeshifter. They can transform into all these different beings. And what it really means in analogy is that, you know, no matter what happens to, to you, uh, Aries, this week, you can adapt to situations very well. And that means that you need to realize, because you adapt very well to situations, yes, there will be people that pay uh, uh, attention to this and probably will take advantage of it. Right? But the main thing is, because you adapt well to situations, you also adapt well to situations that aren't so great. So what the guides are saying to you, because you have the, the, the bear, you know, don't overly adapt. It's not always a good thing. Right? Speak your mind, speak your truth, but remember, say it kindly because you're beginning to heal this week. Right? So again, calmness is the key. All right? Okay, that was Aries going into Taurus. Uh, I just need another sip. So my father is 88 and um, he's a Taurus. He never watched that. <laughs> Here's to you, Dad. <laughs> Here we go. This is for all you Tauruses. Out there, let's see what we got. Now I'm drawn to a different deck. Here we go. Just need to make some space here. For Tauruses, you have the companion and the dancer of beginnings. Now, the companion and the dancer of beginning means that situations must change. Look at who you spend your time with, right? And then see, does that make you happy or does it hinder you from being happy, right? Because you have the companion, which also means be your best friend, and you have the dancer of beginnings. This is the week for you Tauruses to reflect on your domestic situation. What's going on at home, right? Are we all on the same sheet? Are we the team we promised each other to be, right? Reflect on it, pay attention to it, and remember, because we're all in healing this week, just Look at it and then calmly make sure you express yourself if it isn't working. All right? Really, really important. That's for Tauruses. 
Here we go. Now we're going into Gemini. There we go. Right. <laughs> Gemini. Short and sweet. All the guys say to you that especially this week, November the 4th to the 10th, 2019, all your guides are around you. So when the shit hits the fan, when things really hit you, it's likely going to be this week. Because when the guides are there in full, you know, full force, then that's because you need them, if that makes sense. Right? What they're saying as well is you have the Demiurge, which is um, someone who plays a sacred pipe. So what they're saying is make sure that your living quarters and your, your workspace, everywhere, everywhere where you really dwell this week, is, is high energy and is cleansed. So if you can cleanse your own space, please do so. Right? Really, really important. And then you have the shaman. Da -da -da. Right. So what they're saying is this week might be challenging for Geminis, but the guides are saying we're around you. We got your back, but you have to allow yourself to go through it. Because it is in the not going through it that we keep it inside. And if we take it with us into the next life, then we have to do it all over again just to release whatever trauma sits inside us. Right? Really important. Okay, going into Cancerians. <laughs> okay, we're changing tack here a bit for, for Cancerians. You have the wolf and the frog. What that really means is, this is the week where you have to take charge of your life. Where you say, this is how I want things, this is how I feel things should be, and I will be in charge. Okay? Not in a forceful way, because the, the wolf is a pack animal, so which means you're, you're working with people not against them. But this is, a, this is a week for you to reflect on um, your decisions. Um, you know, is my life going into the right way? And here's the important thing. You have the frog. And the frog is, a, is an animal that tells us, because they are amphibians, which means they can live on land and on water. Um, if you feel there need to be changes in who you're with, in where you're working, and all these kind of things, where you live, you know, all these kind of things. All they're saying is, you will do fine elsewhere, right? So don't go into, into worries about, you know, what am I supposed to do when this job doesn't work, I haven't done a new one yet, right? Um, welcome to, to um, the panickers. <laughs> don't be a panicker. <laughs> don't panic. Right? Because what the guides are saying to you is, just remember this, your spirit animal guide for this week, November the 4th to the 10th, is the frog. And you can be just as efficient elsewhere, right? Okay. Here we go. And because it's for you Cancerians out there, um, I'm not getting more images. So I can't tell you really um, if this is about relationship or not, because oftentimes the guides give me stuff. In this case, they don't or they didn't. It just means, like you know, listen to the listen to the um, the messages and then internalize them. All right. So there was Cancerians going into Leo. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I will get there eventually. <laughs> Leos, um, not too dissimilar in, in a way from Cancerians, although slightly, slightly different. Uh, what the guides are saying to you is, you also, you too, are going through a transformative stage where you ought to reflect on your domestic situation, right? You have the totem, which is basically your family and your 
domestic situation, so to speak, right? Um, just focus on how happy you are in your home and how, 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 how happy you are with the people that you consider friends, right? And then you have the falcon, which is the, the animal that, that, again, the depiction is that, that you see and you know already what is and isn't working. And all the guides are saying is, trust that knowledge. Your intuition has never let you down. But this is the week to make changes. When you feel this isn't working, this has, has, has gotten stale, this is the week to address it. Okay? That was Leo, short and sweet. And I usually do these videos much more often, but uh, this hasn't been my year and I still feel absolutely shattered and shit. <laughs> so I do them when I really feel like it. Uh, I know a lot of people were sort of saying to me, oh, I miss the readings and it's, it, I'm grateful that you do, but I do the best I can. I can only do the, video, the videos when I feel I can get through it, if that makes sense. And I'm not in a good space emotionally. Um, I'm in grief for a lot of things and um, I will need time, but I promise because I do have better days now, I do feel better, I do, be, I do feel I'm getting somewhere. Um, I do my best to do the videos more often, if that makes sense, right? But I wanted to mention this because that's usually what people say to me and I'm sure someone will probably comment that I wasn't as funny as I usually am and there's a reason for it. I, I don't want to pretend to be super happy when I'm really not, okay? Nonetheless, I'm only working here. I wait for the guys to say stuff. I'm doing this for you. So like I said, please share this and please stay loyal even if the videos are not coming weekly, right? So that was Leo going into Virgo, which is the second last star sign for the week. Going into Virgo. Virgo is slightly different to <laughs> the other star signs that came before you. Um, what is similar is that the guides are saying to you, you're quite safe this week. You have the snake and birds. And the snake is the animal that you see when you go to the pharmacy, you see the snake around the cane. So it's an animal of health. So in, in, in the um, case of you Virgos, what I'm getting energetically is for you to look at your health. Uh, emotional health more important this week than physical. That doesn't mean you know you shouldn't look at your physical health, but it is more about the emotions that that uh, cause you uh, issues in life that you should be looking at. Right? And birds basically mean you know step back, get a vantage point, see things from a higher point of view, get out of your patterns, and get out of negativity. If you are a person that stays low, energetically speaking, when life is crap, then that's a pattern that only you can break. And this is the week for you to make sure you break it. All right, short and sweet for Virgo. But the important thing is you have the snake, remember this, you're quite, you're quite safe. Okay, last star sign for this week is Libra. And I'm drawn to this deck again. <laughs> I'm not blessed with space here. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> right. Okay. For um, Libra, we have the Shaman of Reflection and the Shaman of Stars. It's from a shamanic deck, the shamanic oracle deck. The reason why I never mentioned the decks is because I used to do readings without any cards, for instance. And then um, people sort of got uncomfortable um, because I just had to look at them to get more information, so to speak. And eventually um, I asked the guides to give me decks. And in the last 20 years, all that ever came to me were four different decks. And I've been using them for years, but I haven't got the boxes or anything, so I don't even know what they're called, who made them or anything. All I know is that I use the symbolism on them and then get the messages from the, the guides that they uh, depict, if that makes sense, right? So unfortunately, I cannot tell you, um, because I had that question as well a couple of times, why I never mention 
the decks. And it's because they're tools and I use them and um, I'm grateful for them. And uh, I, I'm not deliberately not plugging the people who, done, who, who did them, but um, I don't know who did them. Okay, doc. So, going into Libra, you have the shame of reflection and the shame of stars. What they're saying is, this is too weak, again, to, to slow down and reflect on the year. This is 2019. And intelligently speaking, it is one of the most difficult year for a lot of people, simply because the universe is saying we need more healers, we need more people who can change the energy, therefore we are attempting to go into the nitty gritty of all your trauma, be it from this lifetime or previous lifetimes. But we are attempting to look at all of this stuff and find a way to trigger it out and let it go, which is why so many people I have met this year keep falling apart, right? So it's just the way it is. But all they're saying is because you have the shame of reflections, this is your week to reflect on your life. Really, really important. And then you have the shaman of stars. This is interesting because we are from the stars, right? We came here as specks of dust and then we evolved, if that makes sense, right? But we really are all from the, from the we are made of stars. And, um, and when you have the shaman of stars, what they're saying is, look at your spirituality and remember that your ancestors and your guides look at you and you are always connected to them. So you're not as alone as you feel. So should this be a time where you feel like, you know, nothing's happening for me, I'm, I'm the loneliest person in, in the world and on the planet, what the guides are saying to you is, you're really not, right? So, so pay attention to um, the guides because they're trying to get in touch with you and trying to communicate with you, right? Okie dokie, that's all um, we have time for this week. Um, thank you so much and see you very soon. Bye-bye.